Hey there friends, interesting turn of events today and the anti-gun movement is really struggling with this one. Authorities shot a man after they say he fired shots at a Jewish school in Memphis, Tennessee Monday afternoon. Memphis police were called to the Mar let me say this right, Margolin or Margolin Hebrew Academy Feinstein Yoshiva of the South at about 12.20 p.m. Eastern time after armed an, an armed man tried to enter the school according to Memphis police. Police say the suspect tried to enter the building but could not get inside. When he could not gain entry, he fired shots outside the school. It's said that the suspect tried to enter the school, had a brief confrontation with a contract worker, and then fired two shots from the gun he was carrying. We don't know what type of gun it is at this point. The suspect then returned to his vehicle and left the property firing an additional two shots while leaving. School officials gave police a photo and description of the suspect's maroon colored Dodge Ram pickup. Short time later, Memphis police officers found a vehicle matching the description and stopped the driver. Suspect got out of the truck with a gun in his hand and was shot by an officer. The suspect was taken to a local hospital and is in critical condition. Now they say the shooter is a former student of the school and he's also Jewish. Not that that matters, but I guess this eliminates the potential of it being some kind of additional terroristic a prejudicial type shooting, a hate crime, if you will. The wackos on the far left definitely are not happy about this to a certain degree. One thing it does do, it does show that a gun was on school property, so they like that. What they don't like is nobody was shot. There's nothing more frustrating than an anti-gun far left wacko than being this close to a school shooting and no kids get shot. I said it. And I don't mind. I'm not apologizing for that. They are upset. Somebody somewhere on the anti-gun left is upset that no child was shot. Because this is not going to gain any donations through their websites. They're not going to be able to make any extra pocket money. No big money drive. Because this is not an actual school, school shooting by the definition of kids being shot in a school. The biggest thing we can take away from this is... Now, let's not forget, just down the road in Nashville, we had a trans, whatever that is, <laughs> shooter shoot at a religious-based school, and they got in. They shot kids. They shot adults. Easy access. We saw the video. Shot through the glass. This potential shooting in Memphis, guess why this person was mad? Guess why they left? Because they couldn't get into the school. We talk about hardening our schools all the time. Now, the wackos on the far left think that all we want is a bunch of crazy, wacko, unionized teachers who have no knowledge of guns, scared to death of guns, carrying guns. Not one of us has ever spoken out in favor of that. Not one of us. I don't want any blue-haired person confused of what their gender is carrying a gun around my child. I can promise you that. So please stop with the I want y'all to be armed. What we do want is apparently what worked in Memphis because this shooter did not make his way into the school. So it's pretty obvious that Memphis figured out how to protect their children. At least the Jewish school in Memphis managed to do that. Why can't we do that elsewhere? Why didn't we do that in Nashville? Why can't we do that everywhere else like Uvalde? Well, Uvalde, somebody propped the door open. At least that's allegedly what happened. A lot of things went wrong in Uvalde. We don't need to talk about that again. We can't retry that here. That's for sure. We don't have enough time. My point in all this is these nutbags on the left want to hang their hat on the fact that we want every goofy, silly cat woman to have a gun in a school, and that's our answer for hardening schools. That's never been our answer. We've always said, prevent the killers from getting into the school. I don't want to have to rely on anyone, whether it's a school resource officer or a teacher that has a gun. I don't want to rely on them to protect my child. How about we keep the person from ever gaining access to the school, and we're all good? Let them go fire off some shots in the sky out there like this goofball did right here. Let them go do that. My child is inside safe. And we don't need PTSD classes and all kind of other government funding to go to this school now because these kids dodged a bullet. There was no shooting. There was nobody that perished. Even the person they come into contact with did not get shot. 
I would like to know more about this Memphis school, what type of setup they have, what type of security system that they have. To me, this is a lesson to be learned. But you know what will happen? Nobody will ask those questions. Nobody will. This became a distant memory already because no children were shot. They've moved on. No one from the left will ask any questions about this because it doesn't matter to them. Their, their solution has never been to harden a school. Their solution has never been to keep the bad guy out of the school. Their solution has always been keep access, easy access to the school so any killer can get in here because that's going to keep that level of fear up to where people will continue to listen to us whenever we talk about banning guns in order to save our kids. Let's do it in the name of the kids. Let's lock these killers out of our schools in the name of the kids. How about that? God save the queen, man. I'm sorry. I thought this was America.